Before you start this video, you should have already written down the skills, or qualities, you felt a successful maze runner would need. If you've not yet done so, pause this video and write down those skills and qualities. As long as you put some thought into what qualities you felt maze runners needed, you're benefiting from this lesson, since, to some extent, those qualities are qualities that you personally feel are important in order to become a successful adult. So the key qualities we felt were important for a maze runner, and the qualities that we're going to focus on for this lesson and a few future lessons are curiosity, determination, adaptability, and accountability. So let's take a look at each of the four qualities one at a time. Curiosity. Curiosity has been defined as a strong desire to know or learn something. As an infant and child, you're naturally curious. Even now, you'll notice that with certain things, you're naturally curious. Certain things draw your attention. Take a second, pause the video if needed, and think about things that you are or have been curious about. Why were you curious about that subject, process, or person? It will be good to go back and reflect on things that you were or are curious about. There are some subjects that you're not going to naturally be curious about. There are some things that you just aren't interested in. You know what courses or subjects those are. However, you can learn to develop curiosity, even for those subjects. You'll need this ability to learn how to be curious about new things. This is so important. Because in any job you take, from your first to your last, you will need to learn new skills on the job. So how do you develop curiosity? We develop curiosity by asking what, where, why, who, and how. I wasn't big on geometry, but if I asked what jobs use geometry, and I did some research, I would have found out that Carpenters and builders use geometry. Artists and architects use geometry. Even traffic controllers use geometry to determine the angles involved in each plane's flight path. I would have appreciated that whenever I walked into my house or landed in a plane, geometry was at work. So developing curiosity also includes understanding how a specific subject applies in everyday life. Understanding why that information or subject is useful. Understanding how it affects our lives. Reflect. Think about a subject or class that you're not particularly fond of. Do some research to see how that subject or knowledge is used in everyday life. Answer the following questions. What careers or jobs use that knowledge? How does that knowledge affect people? the world, perhaps even you.